Okay, well now I have my uh, 8 inch astrograph mounted on the side by side rail that's down here with the new Orion 80 millimeter refractor for guiding. Now I'm going to lift this up just to show you how it's mounted. It's a little bit heavy, so let's. Okay, there is the Vixen mount, the side by side Vixen mount on the bottom. And both scopes are on the rails attached firmly. Now I want to balance this on the rail and find the center point. So I'm going to get a stick that I had back that I found in my garage. Uh, I guess you could use maybe a pencil or something similar, not too tall. I'm going to put this under the rail and get a preliminary balance on this setup before I put it on my mount. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift one end of, the, of this uh, setup just slightly and stick this, put the stick underneath the rail. And let it loose. Okay. As you can see, it's tilting backwards. So I'm going to slide my 8 inch OTA forward a bit. Let me loosen the knobs and tilt it forward a bit. Okay, now. It still tilts back a little bit, so let's scoot it forward a little bit more. How's that? Okay, now it seems to be somewhat balanced in that direction. Now to balance it on this direction, I'm going to lift the rail and slide the stick in closer to the larger tube and let it go and try, I'm going to try to find the balance point or the center of gravity I'm almost there that's almost it okay that's pretty close Okay, right there, it is balanced in both directions. So I'm going to mark where my stick is on the rail. I don't know if you can see that or not, but okay. I'm going to make some marks on the rail itself. So when I mount it on my equatorial mount, I have a point of reference to start my, my balancing. I'm going to take a, a marker and do just some little mark there. <coughs> Excuse me. And now <clears throat> I'm going to mount this setup <clears throat> on the main mount and try to balance it. So, I'll be back. Okay, here is my side-by-side -side far point mount with the 8-inch astrograph and the 80 millimeter guiding scope. Now, I think I've got it balanced to where it needs to be in the RE direction. I 
I think I'm going to have to order another weight because once I mount my camera on there, it's not going to be able to maintain balance. So I'm going to go ahead and order another one of these uh, smaller two and a half pound weights. This is an 11 pound weight. This is a two and a half pound weight. And now for the deck balancing. It's pretty close. It's hard to balance it because everything is so off center. But marking this main vixen bar helped a lot. Yeah, just extending the focus tube brings it off balance, so it's very sensitive. But that's pretty close there. I'm going to power it up and give it a test run, see how it operates. And that will determine if the balance, the balance is proper or not. And I'm going to go ahead and order another 2.5 pound weight. Okay, to be continued.